Hello and welcome to another edition of Mix Mowers. Today is going to be a slightly different video. We're going to be working on a fly mow today, in particular a two-stroke fly mow, which I purchased for £15 as a non-runner. It's not something I've worked on before, but I'm quite looking forward to seeing if we can get this little mower up and running. But I have my suspicions it will probably need um, diaphragm gaskets, that sort of thing. But we'll give it a go anyway and see how far we get. So without further ado, let's get down and dirty and let's check out this Flymo two stroke petrol lawnmower. <laughs> And here it is. So this is a Flymo L47 two-stroke petrol lawnmower. I think it's got about a 20, 21 inch cut, so it is a big old beastie. Um, however, it was sold to me as non-running. So the first thing I want to do is take the cover off, which is just four screws either side. In fact, that's loose. Take that off and um, pour some carburetor fluid down the cylinder head and see if I can't get it to fire because I know when I picked it up I give it a couple of pulls and it definitely wasn't firing despite the fact there is fuel in it so let's give it a go to see if it will actually fire over Let's give it a quick pull. Let's see what happens. On the choke. Good. So it fires. So we've got a spark. But obviously, it should be a fuel. I'm hoping this going to be a fuel problem. So let's get it up on the table and. We'll have a look, see if we can't take this tank carburetor assembly off and see what's occurring inside there. I've had to put it on the big table because uh, the handle won't stay up, so it'll fall from my big table I've got. So it's looking like we've got a throttle cable down here, and that goes onto one of those bowl style carburetors. Let me try and get you in here just so you can see. It's got some kind of bowl style carburetor in there, which is good because that's something I'm used to bowl styles I'm not quite sure what this is here that looks like a fair old big I might be a breather let's start by taking the pull cord assembly off and the fuel tank let's start with that start with what we know that could be a 3.8 actually be a better fit for that Now, the bloke who I bought it off is a friend of mine um, and he says to me that he hasn't actually worked on it so I do believe him which is nice because sometimes you get lawn mowers that they say they haven't touched and when you get inside them it proves to be wrong so all I'm taking off is just four, four bolts one here, one over the other side one at the back and one over the other side of that as well and that will Right, so these are a bit fiddly, they're three eighths, but you can't get a socket in, you have to get a spanner. So this tank, I'm guessing, just lifts up and comes away. And it sits on these little tiny springs, which I don't want to lose. Literally just lift, lift it up off the tank housing. That comes off, like so, and just clips under the pull cord assembly. So now I can probably get a 3 8 in there. Yeah. That makes it a bit easier. And one the other side, which is not actually there, it's missing. And then the full cord assembly comes off. So that's pretty much the same as a Briggs and Stratton job. Uh, I'm going to turn the fuel off, which is going to be that way just want to get a screwdriver in there just to remove the um, fuel line All right, let's get some long nose snips in there just ease that off the tank I don't want to break anything here because I don't know if spares are going to be easy to obtain on these so that's a throttle arm 
that's all working as it should yeah well I don't see the choke coming on that's the choke arm there I don't know if something's come adrift here Yeah, that arm needs to come back further, I'd say. If you come around the other side, I'll show you what I mean. So just here, you see the throttle is working, but that's not cutting this back out. So I'd say that needs to be adjusted so that arm comes back and attaches this. So I'm going to take this assembly off here, which is, I'm assuming, the air filter assembly and what have you. It's just a flat a Phillips screwdriver. I'll take it off in bits because I'd like to know how it all works. So. There seems to be a bit of fuel down here as well, so possibly leaking. So two Phillips screws there. And that should come apart. Yeah, it does. And then we can go a bit more. Another couple of Phillips here. These are longer ones. And one your side. You in shot yet? Okay, that comes off of there. There's an air filter in here as well, which is good. Air filter's really clean. In fact, it's had a brand new air filter in there, so that's good to see. I've got a couple of look, look, they look like little tiny, teddy little bolts in here, which will separate this from the uh, carburetor. Let's just check that. So I put that onto choke, which it wasn't choking before. So yeah, that's actually not doing the right job. So that, that needs to go to be set differently when we get it running. That's not actually yes, setting the choke. Do you want to see that? Let me just make sure you can see it. I'll take you off the uh, tripod. So that's on that's actually on choke now on the lever and it's not actually activating that choke button at all. So that arm needs to come back further to activate the choke. Which it wasn't doing. But I don't smell that was a problem. Because if it fired on um carburetor cleaner, not on choke, it there's no reason why it shouldn't have ran. So let me undo these two bolts just here, as I just said, and then um we'll start to get this carburetor off. And that's just gonna be a quarter inch drive on there. Still got a blinking cold. There's one. God, I'm not quite tight. There's quite a lot to take off for this just to get to the uh, carburetor. There's two, that comes with a little wash on, I'll leave that little bolt on there. So that all goes together. Okay, we're winning now. So, what I'm gonna do next is the two little tiny, like 10 mil nuts here and one here. I'm just gonna remove those. And I'm hoping that carburetor assembly, all by the throttle, will start to come off. So let me undo the two 10 mil bolts and drop this carburetor off. Okay, I have just I have just slackened off this throttle mechanism as well, so that one now comes away. As I say, that should be doing this sort of business here. Let's see, which is which it wasn't. So that one needs to be adjusted right up. So that's on choke now. So that needs to be about about there, and then when you open it back up, yeah, that's where it needs to be. That's it. So that needs adjusting back. That's no problem at all. We can do it later. At least it stands half a chance then of, uh, of actually running. Right. Um, let me get these two 10mm bolts, which are going to be fiddly, 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 I dare say. They're going to be quarter turn to go, I dare say. If I can even get something onto it. I'm going to be here a while, so let me undo the two 10mm bolts and then I'll come back. Right, that's now undone. And now all by the governor springs, this should come.
come away, which it does. There's a little tiny spring here to take into account, which I would like to remove off of this arm would be good. Like that, and that can stay on the throttle assembly. So let me now remove the mower from the table and then we can have a little closer inspection of this carburetor in a tray. They forecast rain today, so I need to really get a bit of a move on. So here's a carb in all its glory. It comes with a nice gasket on the back. This is leaking as well, so it's leaking out the bottom of the bowl, I'd say. So let's take this um, bottom of the bowl off first, which is going to be probably a 12. No, that's too big. Might be a seven sixteenths. Yeah, it is. Let's gently, gently take that off. Absolutely leaking fuel out of here. That comes off. Oh, there's lots of grass in there, bits and pieces. That's not going to help matters. After long nose snips, take the pin out, take the float out. There's no fuel inside the float. There's the needle that just dropped, and we've got another main jet in there. So we want to take that main jet out if it had come. Oh, that's a tight fit. Yeah, is it coming? I don't think it is. Be very careful with these. Now that jet's not going to come out of there, and it looks really severely bunged as well. Let me try and find another screwdriver to fit this a bit better, to just just to unscrew this jet because this is look a touch, a touch too wide, I would say, and I don't want to damage this jet any more than I have to. Right, that jet is definitely not going to come out of there, so I'm going to shoot some carburetor spray down inside. Yeah, it's coming through. Give it a good, good clean, best I can. That's all I can do really in the situation. Out through the air and out through the fuel intake and back round. Two holes here. One hole here. Tip it upside down and just let that drain. I want to have a look at this little fella. That's completely hollow and there's no there's no uh, hole in there, but it is particularly dirty. And the bottom of the bowl as well. Give out a clean. That's better. Let's bring the carburetor back, wherever it may be. Still some residue of stuff on there. I want to get off. Here. That's actually part of it. So on the side here, there'd be another jet. Just here. It's important to know where note where these go. It should be done up tight, which it's not. So where it is now is is sort of 12 o'clock. I can screw it all the way home. So it's half a turn, one full turn one and a half turns so two turns is in all the way so now we can back it out and when I put it back in I should put it all the way in and then back it out two full turns and there's some gunk in there I can see it see the old gunky that is in there with the oil let's have all that out right inside there that's better and that's now pulled out all that gunk just here you see so let's open the arm up choke arm up blast that through and right inside here I don't know whether you're going to see this but right inside here there's three little tiny holes let me try and get the straw just so you can see it two or three tiny little holes just there 
and that's where you need to get into. To clean that up. And then literally I'm gonna go back in the holes again. Because I can't get that jet out, I've got to really be quite use quite a lot of spray with this because uh, I need to make sure everything is crystal clear and crystal clean in here. They all working fine. That's all working fine. There's no holes there, just them two there. Back into that one again. And they're now blowing out of there. See what you watch. So they're now blowing out there clear. Right, I'll say this carburetor is clean. Or as clean as I'm going to get it anyway. Uh, there's a couple more jets in here I need to get hold of. There's one here. And one here. If I can get onto it. I'm about spraying myself in the face. I might put a little file down that. Oh, fiddly. And that's coming out the bottom of here. It's always little tiny jets and orifices you need to get into. Back in that one there again if I can get into it. Right, this little carb is, was actually quite clean to begin with. It wasn't actually excessive. I don't particularly like working on two stroke, but I will give them a go. There's another one in there. Okay, that's about as clean as we're gonna get that. Okie dokie. So I'm happy now at this carburetor, let's get a clean bit of rag up. Don't want to be introducing any more dirt from what we have to. So I'm quite happy this carburetor is now as clean as I can get it. It's just a shame about the jet, but they are troublesome and there's no point in, in giving it some because you're just going to ruin it. So let's now start to reassemble this carb. We want the needle, which is there, give that a bit of a clean. It looks to be in good condition and the float. Give that a bit of a wipe off. Lovely. Put your needle back in the seat. And then that then sits into the little tiny hole at the bottom. Just there, that is all clear in there. Yeah, I think, yeah. Hang on a bit, just fine. notice that. Literally right inside this needle here, inside of this valve. I'm just going to blow that out one more time. There's a little bit of grime just, just sat in there, I just saw it. So that now goes, it's so windy it's not even funny. I'm so pleased to pick this mic up. It gets rid of the wind. That was cheap too, it's my little GoPro, only about four quid. Right, that's that in there. I'm just going to blow this now to see if it is actually working. Yeah, that's working as it should do. Okay, I'll give this a bit of a clean off because this was uh, particularly grimy as well. A bit of a wipe. Yeah, see. Where did that go? That went in here, didn't it? I went in there, all the way home, and two full turns out. Really is windy. So that's home. One full turn. Two full turns. That's where that lived. So I'm happy with. Okay, and let's put the bowl back on. We 
steps, there is a step in there, so I'm a bit concerned about the step on that bowl. I'm assuming it goes that way, which will allow the float to rise higher. Yeah. And then a little nut to go back onto there. Excuse fingies. Nick that up. Nice and tight. If you see that, I just dropped that spring off that throttle arm. I just spotted that. We've been right in it then. We've been right in it. See that? That was hooked on now, I think. One of these ones. We'll figure it out as we go. Let's um, put that somewhere safe. I don't want to lose that. And we'll figure it out a bit later on. Right, so now the choke all works, as it should do. Right, let's get the lawnmower back up top and then um, try and refit it. And don't forget the spring mick. Okay, lawnmower's back up top. I'll bring around the other side. Let's see, get a bit of a better view of what's going on here. Well, there's no point you're watching. Let's bring you in here somewhere. How's that suit you? Is that all right? All right, cool. I'm glad you're happy. All right, carburetor in, just under the handle. That's going to sit on the two bolts there. See how that throttle arm has now come back into place, let's see, where it belongs. That's cool, right. Whilst I fiddle about with these um, nuts, you can sit and have a, have a watch of someone else. My word, they were fiddly, but they're on there. They're on. I still got to figure out where that spring went. That's what I've got to do. It'd be for that. Somewhere. There's a little tiny arm that that's got a hook on. I've got to figure that out. I might have to review the video to do that. Here's the spring. I'm guessing it just sort of hooked onto the back of that arm. I don't want to drop this. I was on the right in the poop. Oh, there's a hot oh, I see. There's a little tiny hole there, which that was sat on. Which again is going to be fiddly and time consuming. Come on. Oh, that's got in. It might have just hooked on the back of that. Something like that? No, that's going to withdraw. So, I've got to figure that out where that, where that little boy went. It might have definitely hooked on here. I'll have to replay the video and have a little have a little look-ski. Right, I think I sussed it. There's a little tiny hole just there, look. See it? So, I'll get hold of it. I'm guessing it went on there, let's see. So I moved the throttle. Yeah, that's spring loaded now, see. See that? See? Patience for virtual. Right, let's get on to the next bit. Next bit was. was this little chap here that sat on there through there little gasket job that went on there like that didn't it someone say yes that went on there and then that was backed up by these little pieces here so that bolt Goes onto there with a gasket with another bolt. Which I'm trying to get hold of. Through there. These are fiddly, aren't they? Part of the reason why I don't do them normally. 
but they go for a pretty penny if they're up and running. Especially a big 20 inch. This is about five seconds away from going from Burton down the bottom of my garden. Do you know that? That's the wrong way around, that's why, Nick. Come off of there. So, that on first, isn't it? With that little gasket. That's it, that goes on there. Oh, no, that right. doesn't seem right. That way. That's it, right. I had a bit of a funny five minutes here. I just come off a night, so I'm not really fully confident as maintenance as it is. And all of that all goes on together, which is really inconsiderate of them. So, just drop the gasket now. Right down the depths of the engine. Can you believe it? That on there, let's try and get one started. There's my little tiny screwdriver thing, not driver. Right, that's that started. We're halfway home there. That goes through there, through that little gasket I've been finding. Got Marion up. I think that's got him. I don't know if it takes. I don't want to damage that gasket really bugging off. Is that gone in? Yeah, it's gone in. Right. Thank the Lord. See, that's what happens. I want another one of these. So that's what we're back on now. I've got two. So it's got to be one in between the, the carburetor and one in between the air intake. I would say. Right. Yeah, that's got a gasket on him. Like that. Right, we happy? Pick that one back up, Nick. That's it. Let's put that onto there first. Push that gasket in. Right, happy with that. And that gasket. Oh, no grass. That gasket goes on there, on there. By Joe, I think we got it. Nick him up. Nick him up. Right, we're there. Okay, now what I want to do is I want to just literally set this throttle now so it's actually in the right place. Which was, I think it was that Torx bit. That's got to flip round. Right, so it's set to choke now. Which is not where it should be. Uh, I might have to move it away a smidge, gents and ladies. Let's see what's going on. That's choke there. Man, man, the best of days today. I think it's got a lot of cold on very short fuse. That's what it is. But we're getting there. Is that one choke? Yeah, that's one choke. Right, let's nick that up. around the side and I'll uh, just adjust the throttle. Well, as you can see now that's on choke, off choke, on choke. It's not quite going as full choke as I would like. Oh, it's, it's fair, yeah, that'll, that'll, that'll do. Yeah, that'll choke it. Yeah, okay. Right, so that's now set as it should be. Right. What's next? Air filter. That goes on there, upside down. That's it. 
pull it, pull it out. That goes on there like that, and it was a longer screw that went in. So there. That one there, and one the other side. Screws fingies. That. And that was backed up by this little tiny air filter cover. Have a bit of a, a wipe out. A bit of some of this crap. Because it is two stroke. So it's be dirty. Flymo. Pattern part. Okay. That goes on there. So we fired it up, didn't we? And we had we had a fire. So it's got spark that we know. It's got compression that we know. Next thing to do would be just to give the old tank a flush and put some fresh um, 50, 50 mix in it. That would be the next thing to do before I put the tank back on. All right, I'll just double check my tray. Yeah, nothing in there. So I haven't saved any bits, which is handy. Nothing worse than saving bits. Let's give that a clean. And let's have the tank over. It's not a lot of fuel in here, but I just want to see what sort of fuel it is in here. That looks all right. Smells good as well. Bits of grass in there coming out, though, so it's just as well we did that. bit in there. I'll get it all out if I can. All right, that'll do. It's a really weird setup. In fact, let's go down with, down here. That might be better. Turn that on. Can I come out of there? Not really. Uh, on. Who's there? That's it. There's only a bit of dribbling there. Right. So what we've got in here? And that was cleaned out, remember? So we've got bits of grass in there and all sorts of yummy stuff. So that's no good to us. Right, I'll leave that top of that tank off to sort of evaporate off a bit. And I can start to fit the, I'm assuming it's gonna be the uh, pull cord assembly on next, is what I would say. I'm just trying to find my torx bit I had. So I've lost that now. I don't. It was in my pocket. Just wanna just double check that it's done up right. Put him back where he belongs. Right, happy with that. That throttle's now working, as it should do. As it as that spins, that's going to open up as well to regulate. So that's all working. There's not a lot more adjustment on there, but that should be enough. Okay, full cord assembly. I'm assuming it goes on first because we had that um we had uh, the tank that clips on, didn't we? That all goes on there like that. Happy with that. And we want the clear bolts. I found a spare one for the, for the other side. So that's cool. There's my 3 8 driver. Here it is. Got to get going because I've got a party for my little Riley boy today. He's going out to a birthday party. So I haven't got long, but I thought I'd cram one in quickly. My wife's in bed, she ain't very well either, she got cold. Oh, what's going on there? That, that's why I got trapped. Yeah, she's got a cold. Riley's had a cold. Just waiting for a mother in law now, she'll have one, and that'd be worse than everybody else's, of course. That goes in there. Like so. And two more to do. Go. I don't really want to. 
turn on the light. One here's one I found. That one in there. Let me nick these up and then we put a tank on. Right, that's the uh, <coughs> pull cord assembly on. Now for a tank, that just sits in there. I'm in two lugs. See that? I'm in two lugs there. It sits on there like that. And then you've got these, this spring mechanism. That's all they are. That clips under the pull cord assembly and that clips on the tank. So, do you want to see that? And bring around. Let me bring around. Sorry for the seasickness. But uh, that's why we're rearing it. Let's learn a bit. Right. Now, all that does, that just sneaks down under there. Sneaky, sneaky. And clips on under that pull cord assembly, which I'm having real problems locating. That there, up onto the nut, and then literally just pushes along those snips would be good. Pushes like that. Kind of cool, isn't it? Doesn't actually hold a lot of weight, but uh, let's fit the other side. It should be a bit easier, a bit more access. Onto there, long nose snips on. There. That's a bit tight about that side. That's got him. That's got him. Right, what's next? Uh, turn the fuel off. Fuel tap on. Which maybe, in hindsight, I should have done earlier. Ill fuel hose. Well, that's going to be a pickle to get on there. Oh, that's not. Let's go. Right, that's on. That's a fuel hose on. That's all in place. Right, let me get hold of some fuel and we'll do a, a leak test. I've got me my two stroke fuel. Now I only ever mix up enough fuel for what I need. I never ever um, fill a tank up and leave it because uh, it'll just go off. But I mix up 500 mil with 10 mil of, um, of oil in just a, a, a 500 mil bottle. That's how I do it. Pour that in there. That should be enough for what we need for that little task. Uh, I'm going to turn the fuel on. See that way? And then I just want to check for leaks. See if we've got anything leakaging down in the depths here. And that could have been a mistake on my part. Down here, I don't know if you can see, down here, that's where the. Um, the uh, overflow for the bowl is. It doesn't seem to be leaking out of there. So it, it, it might have got it, or is it? It could be. I might just have to get a spanner in there, undo that nut, and just turn that bowl around slightly. Let me dry it off one more time. I don't think it is leaking. Now that's touched it, it is. Looks like it's leaking. That's better. Right, that's got him. Right, let's clear the decks and then we'll try and fire this little sweetheart up, see what happens. Right, let's have a go at doing this then. Fuel's on. Uh, yeah. Oh, hello. Pull it. I'm assuming that's a dead man that's done that. So I'll set the pull cord back off. Right, so I'm not quite sure what's going on here, but it's something to do with um, this dead man, I think. This dead man's not operating. Or, or, or it's doing its job, it's not coming off. So I'm guessing it, it, that, that, web, that wind vane on there is um, not been set right. It might have been that little spring we had, do you remember? 
Let's turn the fuel off. That carb's not leaking, which is good. So let's quickly just take these bits off. tank off. I might just be able to get away with just literally just tipping this um, tank back. No losing no pieces. That lifts up. Like that. That's it. Try and get me there's a little socket in there. That just goes to prove I do all my stuff live, ladies and gents. Nothing is uh, premeditated to make, make me look good. If it don't start, it don't start. It's as simple as that. That's that one. And one round the other side. Socket wants to, wants to stop playing that. It's a bit of oil on there. Right. Let's have a little investigation here as to what's going on. How weird is that? That's turning. That was weird. Let's just put that on there loosely. Yeah, that's turning. How weird. Maybe I just pinched something in there. I'm just going to try and put one bolt in at a time and just keep trying to pull this cord. Let me take the old H T lead off. It definitely wouldn't pull over. Really strange. Can't be hydro locked. Right, that's pulling. All right. Might have been having a moment. We all have them. Yeah, that's him. Uh, last one. That goes on there. This doesn't fit particularly well. Maybe that's got something to do with it. These holes don't line up as well as I would like. Let's try that. Yeah. Don't know. Mystery. I haven't done anything to it. Maybe the pull cord um, assembly wasn't put on right in regards to the, it couldn't pull the fins out. Maybe it's plopped in the middle and couldn't get hold of it, maybe? Put a comment in below, what do you think happened with that? I'm not gonna do this up colossally tight, cause I just don't wanna pinch it. Yeah, that's turning over. Right, tank back on. Let's try that. Yeah, that's turning over. Don't know, that's baffled me. Springs back on. Sorry if my head's been in the way. I wonder if it was these springs. Catching on something. Could have been. That seems quite a far way away, that one. Let's go a bit closer. Sorry if my head's been in the way, but you're on the way as well. I am trying my best. Let's hook him. Up on the oh, sorry. <sighs> See? That's what happens. Well, I'm not concentrating. That's it. 
but I want you to see how much I'm struggling too, you know. Oh, that's on there. <laughs> Ouch. Turn that round. Like that. Long nose snips. In the out. That's a tight fit that time. Let's try it. Yeah, let's turn it. Have a spring. Goes on there. In the out. Long nose snips. That's it. Let's try that. Let's give that a quick pull. Yeah, okay. I don't know then, I've got no explanation. Still got fuel in the tank. Let's just check that leak again down the bottom. Which it's not, so that's good. Right, let's get it back on the deck and try and fire it up. Let's get you a bit closer if we can. Tip you down a smidge. Oh, let's just see if I'm moving it, see if it's made any difference. No, it's still turning over, so fuel on. Are you recording? Let's double check that. Yeah, you are right, okay. Right. Choke on. Dead man in. Let's see how we get on. Fantastic. It's not running 100% right. I've got a feeling it's that um, it's that jet, but uh, I may invest in a new carburetor for it if I can't get that jet out. I may just try getting my own leisure just to um, try and get that jet out, but I've got a feeling it's not going to. So let's fire it up one more time. That'll do for now, but I'm, I'm not happy with it, so I'm just going to, um, I'll have that carburetor off again, and I'll have a little investigation to see how much a new, a new carb is for it. I may better pick up a copy or something like that, so. Anyway, as good as gold. Okay, another fantastic fix, and I wasn't 100% certain that little lawnmower was going to start up, to be fair. I don't particularly like two strokes, they can be a bit troublesome, but with perseverance, you, you, you can overcome these things. The lawnmower isn't running as well as I would like, to be fair. I want it to be slightly higher revving, but I may be able to adjust the, the idle on it, the, the revs on it. Um, I have a sneaky suspicion it is that carburetor. So I may have a little look into um, what carburetor it is and see if I can't pick another one up. You can get them relatively cheap nowadays, especially copies, and, and they run just as well as, as, a, as a main one as far as I'm concerned, especially for the seasons that we cut grass in. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this edition of Mixed Mowers. I certainly did. I've got to go now um, to take Riley to a little party now, so that'd be fantastic and good for him to get out of the house for a while whilst we've all got cough, colds and bugs. So until the next time, I'll catch you on the next episode of Mixed Mowers. Check you later. Do you feel the